Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Backup for Office 365 Restoration. In this short demo, we're going to show you how simple and flexible the restoration process is. So let's go ahead and get started. We are in the Carbonite Backup for Office 365 app portal, and I've selected Restore on the left to begin. As you can see, the exact same objects that were protected are available for Restore as well, so we just need to select which data we want to restore. Let's go ahead and select OneDrive for business. You need flexibility when recovering data, so the first option is how we're going to find the data to restore. First, we need to select the user to restore from, or our other option is to select which particular backup to restore from. Your choice will depend on the needs of the end user. If we select a user, then we can specify a date range along with what level do we want to begin looking, such as the entire OneDrive, a particular library, folder, or document. Depending on what you select, you can now search even more granularly by document name, creation date, modified date, and even size. This flexibility allows you to find the data quickly and easily. If your end user doesn't know anything about the data to restore, then you can select from a specific backup job. When you do this, you are presented with a calendar to choose from. Select the backup that you want, and then you could drill down into all of the data in a very similar way you would in Windows. This familiarity makes it easier for IT admins to learn how to restore data as it's a familiar process already. If you want to restore the entire OneDrive, select the checkbox for the user, but to get more granular, simply click the user to drill down further. Once you find the data to restore, click the checkboxes and then restore. You can even select multiple files at once so you can speed up the restoration process and not have to be forced to perform multiple restores. Another option instead of restore is export. This is the ability to export and download the files or files in a zip file. This is incredibly useful as crucial data is needed, however, the Microsoft Office 365 tenant is unavailable. The administrator will get a download as well as an email with the encryption password and then can provide that to the end user. When we select Restore, we're presented with multiple options. This provides administrators with the flexibility to restore the data whenever and wherever needed. First. You can provide a description of why the restore is happening for auditing purposes if desired. Next, select if you would like to restore the data and security or just security. The ability for Carbonite Backup for Office 365 to be able to restore just security is a great benefit as it can help IT admins recover quickly if permissions for a site, folder, or file were accidentally changed but the data is still good. This allows those mistakes to be easily reversed. Now we select where to restore the data. We can restore it back to where it was originally or to another location. One interesting option you can do here is to restore from one application to another. For example, you can restore data from a deleted SharePoint site directly into a user's OneDrive location without the need to restore the entire site. We can even restore from one user to another, which is especially beneficial for employees who may have left the company but their manager needs to access their old data. This helps to free up assigned licenses in Microsoft Office 365, which can save your organization money. User mapping is used to change the owner of the file as well when restoring to another location if needed. Then we simply say what we want to do with conflicts, such as overwrite, skip, or append to the restored file so we keep two copies. The last option is valuable to organizations, especially when the exact date of the file is unknown. If selected, not only is the file restored, but its version history, up to 20 versions, can be restored as well. This simplifies the restore process, provides a history for the end user, and saves time and money. Click Next, and we see a summary of our actions before we click Restore. The restoration process immediately starts, and you are taken to the Job Monitor section. If the file or files were exported, then here's where you would download the zip file. If a restore was performed, wait till it completes, and the files are ready for use by the end user, and this entire process is very fast, as the backup data is in Microsoft Azure, just like your Microsoft Office 365 data. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Backup for Office 365 Restoration. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.